You spoke of people sometimes not really grasping the concepts to the point of being incapable of dealing with Q&A sessions. I guess we're talking about the lecture circuits. Um, he continues, I really think the basic thing that all of the speakers need is an actual love for science and skepticism, which is something that I, I honestly do not perceive in the people in the forums. I think a way to tackle this is to actually get people interested in skepticism first, and then they can pretty much by themselves work from there. My experience in it tells me that once we get into it, it feeds on itself, and it's truly a great experience to go through it. You asked for a basis, a mindset for people to have that encompasses the things you're talking about. I really think skepticism is it, the whole attitude of the skeptical mind. It just surprises me that you haven't ever mentioned it. Well, your repeated use of the term skepticism is interesting to me. I, I think I'm generally skeptical. I, I, you know, skepticism could be a double-edged sword, though. It, it's one thing to be... It's one thing to be placated and to believe, excuse me, it's one thing to be uh, gullible, and it's another thing to be skeptical. And I don't think each one is good, of course. I think you can reach on a healthy skepticism, where you sit in an objective state with new information, and of course you take the time to review the information presented to you. I think that's probably a better way to do it. But I completely agree with you. Semantically, we can get into some arguments. But I, you know, skepticism is very healthy in general, healthy skepticism, not overtly negative skepticism. I think that can be equally as dangerous as utter gullibility. But nevertheless, you know, I, I encourage everyone to be skeptical of anything in a general sense, meaning that I, you should not take anything at face value and you should you know, look into it. It's hard to do that because we're surrounded by so much information. But uh, you do your best. So I hope that answers your question. I'm not quite sure if I really understand what you're talking about. As far as an institution of skepticism that you point out, I half agree. I think uh, we should be skeptical, especially of things that the government tells us. I typically would say I'm negatively skeptical of basically almost anything the government says. That's a, that's a general consequence of my experience with all the things that I've reviewed in regards to government's actions. But uh, I do still try to believe that certain information, I try to give it the benefit of the doubt sometimes. So. Everyone kind of has to find their, find their equilibrium with uh, their approach to information that they receive and how they choose to evaluate it. 